Hello and uh, welcome to this interesting documentary, I can say. Because uh, tonight we're, well this afternoon, it's actually two o'clock now roughly. And you're thinking, well why um, you started a video diary or documentary at two o'clock? I'll tell you that in a minute, but first... For passengers, please know that on <laughs> Sunday, I will place my bus service to operate until approximately 12.40. I do that with the engineer works all night in the morning. But no, that's not what is. Uh, that's not what I'm going to say. Because I'm going to get a bit serious for a bit now, because um, as everyone's aware of, last Saturday there was a guy called uh, Jack Ellis who passed away, and uh, apparently it was to do with bullying. Which I have been a bit to bully myself, and to be honest, it's not nice, not nice at all. So this trip is this Carlisle overnighter. It's dedicated to Jack Ellis. He was a real enthusiast. I've never met the guy, but apparently, I hope he'd say that I have seen him once in Bristol, but I can't remember to be honest. But apparently, was a good lad, was he? Yeah. And uh, this overnighter for Carla is dedicated to him, which is something I've never ever done before. But. It, I have been a bit of a bully, it's not nice. I hope these bullies get what they deserve because it is not on. But put the personalised to one side now, it's business. Um, tonight, well, this afternoon, it's evening and overnight, we're going to Carlisle. This documentary is going to be called Border City Night Night for a Rail Enthusiast. And um, yeah. So we're going to travel from here to Trent Valley, then Trent Valley to um, Crew. Unfortunately, I have bought the tickets on the Desi, which um, are 1429. I screwed myself out of 44871 and Black 5, which is scheduled to go down to Southall today. But lucky, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah? And um, then after Crew, we're going on the 1409, though, the 1609, which is a double Voyager. Straight up to Carlisle for 1609. About that, yeah. Yeah. Or 1810, something like that. And then after that, 23 hours starts kicking in there of pure freight action at Carlisle. And we're going to be there overnight. I've never ever done an overnight before. The latest I've been up is like 3 in the morning, so this will be an achievement for me if I do this. Well, personal achievement, not like proper achievement. But, um,. We're going to test endurance like that. I mentioned Acton Bridge, they, that's a freight hotspot. Carlisle is also a freight hotspot, but it's also an overnight freight hotspot as well. So then, next day, we're going to get bitten, arriving to Carlisle. Well, we were going to get him, but idiots at Network Rail decided, oh, you can't send it to the station because of loading gauge issues. So it's coming in like engine take train back out now, and we're going to be there till like 5 o'clock and then come back. So sit back and I hope you enjoy this documentary of this, my first ever overnighter. You'll hate it. <laughs> my name is Simon Paul. I'm just a regular guy from a hub. For a passion for trains. And also travelling by train. This rail enthusiast ain't trying to do these YouTube videos to make himself famous. I just need a fun. Sit back, enjoy the gate ticket, and enjoy my railway journey. Right, we've just literally got on this train and we've basically been told there's a fatality at Litchfield already. So it's going to mess us around big time now because we can't get the train we wanted at Birmingham for car thing. It's 
I've already gone bad already and it's not even five minutes into this. Um, we're gonna have to find out what we're gonna do because even that seat tray's gonna be late now. That's why Carolyn was running early. Kind of bit. Our own at Rosie's Trim Valley service terminates or change, please or change. Rosie's Trim Valley service terminates. So, again, my apologies. All trains towards London and Euston and all trains towards Stafford and Crew. I believe I currently suspended this is due to a fatality in the Litchfield area. Well, he didn't say that five minutes ago. Shit, I need to. We don't know, we're gonna have to find out when we get there. So, yeah, we'll pass the camera now. We're about to get off. We have to find out and see what's going on. <sighs> what does the board say? On time. On time. At the moment. On time at the moment. Uh. Right, um, unfortunately due to the next train, the 1525 being cancelled, all eyes are blocked there, so we're gonna be screwed. The only choice we're gonna have to take is go by the Legion of Doom in Birmingham which wasn't even scheduled to be our plan at all, but now it's gonna to have to be in. Unfortunately, it's the only way to get back. To, we're gonna be an hour later to get our train and crew, but we might just be on that from Birmingham straight off to Carlisle on it. So we're gonna be at Carlisle now for 1909, and not where we were expected. But that's how it is, I'm afraid. So let's see what we do from here. Is that 37.19? That is 37.19, Beast Deaths of Staffordshire. Back in Rouge, choice video diary ever. Yep, very short video diary of Back in Rouge Town. Unfortunately. What, what a journey this was. Yeah. It's epic. Really big journey. Oh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. Good night. See you on the next. No, I'm kidding. We're just going by the Legion of Doom. See, look, there's Rishi Tao. Finally, well, ladies and gentlemen, passengers for London 1610. The new train service due to arrive at London Euston. Approximately 1735. 1735. Arriving. London used. Meanwhile, the region do. Not Okay. He's expected, but. See some of the trains now, you so in there. We're waiting for the uh, 1615 89 S80 to end with Waverley. It's right behind you. That's across country. When boarding a train at this station, please mind the gap between the train. Yeah, 
and this is the queue here to get on this train here and they're using that door only. They're just using this door here, there's a door there, there's a door there. There are three doors and they're not using them, it's completely laughable. So they're all queued up to get on this train here, the Coventry train, and they're using one door. to Wolverhampton, another place which we weren't going by today. They put us on platform two. No. Really? No, they put us on one. Five minutes later, we've reached Stafford. Uh, we're not stopping, even though we are slowing down as hell. Do you see a 57 over there? No. no. Do you think it's behind me? No. Yeah. Standing Coach G, where he's sitting down. And I think we slowed down so we changed up to the fast lines. Edinburgh Waverley, calling Warrington Bank King. Oh, Roddy. 307. Lancaster. Who did you just come then? Lady P. Henry, Carlisle. We're now chasing a real 175 DE of you. Oh, all the interesting stuff's happening on Simon's side. Oh, we just left crew. We are about half an hour late. 34 minutes late. Is that what I uh, think it is? There's Bitten in Steam. Two points. Let's double that unit. B and A4. 009. Let's go off the Manchester way. As you can see, there she is. Dean Fortin. Now it's uh, Preston. We're off 390 City of Litchfield. And uh, we are just about to leave any second now, anyway. Up north to uh, Carlisle. As you can see, um, over here, there's another pedestal of this bay here. Well, this postal section. 
don't know what that's doing there though. Mind you, there was reports of Pentadino had to stop here because uh, they had to terminate one from Scotland. Was still was it on the train? Don't know if that's it or not. Just leaving Preston now. Virgin oh, why you train blow it up? Edinburgh Way there. Calling Lancaster, Oxenham, Penrith, Carlisle, Haymarket. Two points of free auto. Chad. Ooh, there's a Desi. There's one of the new Transpilot 350s there. Don't be 409, don't be 409. Can't be 409, is it? It's 404. 404. I'm going to take a wander. Alright, we're going to see if we can try to get some seats on this train. It's just been packed all the way through. I'm about to have a bit late. We're going to now call out. There should be some people waiting for us already. To find out that Desi 35405. We've got Aaron here. Hello. Jason Wright. And it's a bit too early for you yet. No. Say not April yet. Oh, no. <laughs> no. You're right, Jake. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you're not a Jake. You're a Jack Buff. You're just a Jack Buff. <laughs>
there, well, again. See that there. Just break it out, it says delayed. Norfolk, everything has stopped. Norfolk, Carlisle. This is really nice to do with one Virgin Pioneer, by the way, but I think yeah, north of Carlisle, southbound from Carlisle, just been halted. <laughs> Every delayed, unfortunately. <laughs> no funds on the West Coast Bay Line today. Yeah?
there with Carlisle still. It is 10 in the morning on Saturday. Uh, we have got a bit of freight already, but there is more to come still. It is quiet now, you can have to see, see there's nobody around except for the cleaning staff and all that. Uh, we're still waiting on the Caledonian sleepers. Uh, Saturday morning, the rail tour, well, the lunch side evening. As you can have a look now, I'll just um, get the camera to show you. There we go. Completely empty. We've got a Scott Rail Class 156 in the bay there. That's 449. Still a bit of cleaners over there. You got some of the units down here. You got Pacer 29 there. And someone just shouted Shed. Let's go fill some more freight then.
pretty busy in the morning. But it's Some of that you don't see during the evening. Um, the unit's being cleaned here at Carlisle. This is a 156 being um, cleaned out, hoovered out, ready for tomorrow's duties. Usually they do this in depots overnight, but sometimes they do it at the station here. As you can see, there's more cleaners over there. Clean the unit, repair it, ready for service tomorrow. Right, now it's um, just gone three o'clock in the morning. This is the latest I've been up in the past. Don't mind me, I've just had some MMs. Hmm. And um, we're gonna go carry on the distance, get through the night, then stay in the morning, stay here all day till five o'clock. We've got three out four sleepers. One ran an hour early, but it's stuck in Preston, waiting for a drive to come back up. Um, I've got some good freights over here. Some of them had stopped to get photos, some of them went straight through. As you see, Carlisle is literally quiet. There's people cleaning the trains. It's just like a ghost town here. But um, it's going good at the moment. You do feel a bit up here sleepy, but you still physically can do this. So at the moment, I'm still strong in this, ready to go still. Ready to go by like five hours to bike tight still, so like that. But this is the nightlife for a real enthusiast at Carlisle. Trades are half an hour apart, freight wise. You can sit and have a rest while you're waiting. It is quite good, really. People recommend this, and it's quite good there. So we're just waiting to see what else comes through now. Get the last sleeper, which is the Wadded for Glasgow, and see what else there is around for the daytime.
as you can see here, 165463 is the what the others oh, of the first trailer of the day out of Carlisle. It is uh, worth the 0523 to Dumfries. That right there, the Scott Rail 15644 that I will be working the 608 to Glasgow Central by Dumfries. But this has the honors of the first train out of here to Dumfries. Even though it's a Northern Rail unit, Scott Rail do take this unit to Dumfries, come back and change to Northern Rail. Right, it's um, six minutes past two, no, two is past six in the morning, 6.02, and it's starting to get light a bit. You can hear the seagulls going, but we have been still at Carlisle all night. Uh, we've heard there's nothing now till seven o'clock, so we're gonna have a, probably a break and relax a bit. But we have nearly done the all night at Carlisle, just wait for it to turn day and see what daytime stuff we get. And then we get the rail tour, the 47 coming in, then we get Bitten, the A4, and then anything else that comes through. I think we also get two West Coast 57s as well. But it's definitely Saturday morning and it's definitely starting at sunrise.
Look who's decided to turn up again. Oh, shut up. <laughs> no. Jake's back. Yay. Anyway, we're in the waiting room. Well, I'm in the tile or something. Pardon? In the tile or something. No? We've been here since, well, Hello. half past seven. It's now, um, what time is it now? 10 to 8, and I'm still not tired. <laughs> well, we get the new thing from here. Well, probably will be later. But no, I can still go five rounds with Mike Tyson if I wanted to. Right, so I've got the <laughs> No, we're just in the waiting room here, so we're just hanging in there. Freight's, um, freight's starting to dry up a little bit. Well, it's warm in there. Yeah. We've still, got, we've still got the main attraction to come. The, the gate four. Yeah. See, it's uh, bringing out some sausage. <laughs> and look at me. No, not look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Eating a sausage. Um, as you can see, we took a break from the station. We're at Frankston's because we're getting some Cumbrian sausage. And a Cumbrian sandwich. Oh. Anyway. Okay. Oh, I've got five pounds of sausage in this. Five pounds of sausage. And then these trays are. Yeah. Anyway, we're in the um, town centre of Carlisle, which is Dexter Station. That is going wrong. Of sorts. And we just took the break, got Bob's Cubby and Sausage, and now we just go back to the station. Yes. I've just pulled Jason's shoe off. As you see now, we're back at Carlisle Station at uh, Coast Rail Class 56 grid. 56087 uh, is fired up and ready to go to Moss End. There's a lot of passengers coming off that train as well. I think that's um, Whitehaven. Which will be worked by 156484. Anyway, we be ready to go in a second. Well, let's be ready to go in a second anyway. Pack the hell out of here.
fails back. Go, right, Phil. Go, right, Richard. Got Jake here. Jason. He only is eating a donut. And Aaron. Eighteen hours now. I'm at the a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> anyway, we're sponsored by Coca-Cola. Anyway, we're here at Carlisle. We're still going, <laughs> waiting for the 47 mile tour now. Um, Pedrillo's leaving, and he's 009. It's a piece of shit. Excuse the toys. <laughs> yeah. Pizza Union. Anyway, we're just waiting for this 47 to arrive now. Saw less their um, Foster's gold there, all smashed up. Um, quick air show and Foster's bad call. Over the other side of the yellow. As you can see, bitter as a right. Yes, it has. Shake. Just there. Yay. And also Richard Harlety, too. Hello, YouTubers. Hello. With Aaron and Jake still here, blocking the way as usual. Uh, Jake, would you no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Bitten's going to be moving on to this trailer, keeping the coach stock of the 47 there, ready for Bitten to. Um, do a turn around, couple to the train and leave. Yeah, which is, uh, if it's doing it on time, it'll be leaving over the SNC in an hour. And then after that... Would... Oh, sorry, I do beg your pardon. I thought I heard the blower going off. All right. And then uh, we just got a few hours wait before we go back home. Yeah, we are. This is <laughs> killing me now. I know, because we're on booked trains. We're all on different trains now, but... No, no, no. Anyway, let's wait for Bitter to move. Oh, perfect timing. Having the whistle.
driver for the Alpha Lake is Gordon Hobson. Gordon Hobson for the return leg.
well deserved sleep. Yeah, but very well deserved sleep. To be honest, I think I've seen the way too much. I just started flicking a bit, so I have started to hear a bit, but I can still go. Don't remind us about the eye flicking him, because we'll all have to put up with it. So, um, I can still go. It's been one hell of a load of Yeah, he's been absolutely smashing. <laughs> he said he's been absolutely smashing, which he has been. I've only experienced 16 hours of it. We're all very pleased with that. Lancaster, Birmingham New Street, Birmingham International, Coventry, Rugby, Milton Keynes Central, Watford Junction. Then work out Preston. This should have been up for 34 hours. As you can see, I'm a bit back now, but um, we are approaching truth shortly. ATP. Just uh, pulling into crew now. There's a 350. Purple. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I need to do. Yeah. This is. I'll go for that because we're actually booked on that train. Yeah. We're actually booked on that train. We only booked it from Stafford to Rooshley, so that could go out us. I can hear an old lady P was knocking around. Let's have a look anyway. Quickly. Here's our um, train, 1821 to London. Um, so, that's Johnny. He's coming this way. Oh. Surprise, that's 350, 103. Let's go. Welcome aboard this London Midland service to Northampton. The next stop will be Rougely Trent Valley. You heard that? Final stop of the day. Huh? <sighs> that never happened. It did. I know. The end of the show. Don't trip over, will you? 
Don't put it on hard. Anyway, we're back at Rooster Trip Bay now. We're going to do the rounds up and then call it a day. <laughs> right, we're now back at um, Rooster Trip Bay, like I said, and um, it's time to do the round up. We are literally tired. I did sleep on the train, I managed to by 30 hours of waking up. While at Carl excuse me, while at Carlisle. Woke up at like eight forty in the morning and was asleep like at nineteen forty the next day. <clears throat> no, seventeen forty. So that's like something like thirty hours. So I woke up saved up all the night, which was a big achievement. Felt bright and fresh the next day, but then that just went deteriorated quickly. Uh, we did get a lot of stuff, we, get, we got all the can of dirty sleepers, we got a lot of cans, we got a lot of dices. <laughs> oh, it really ended up boldness, um, out of freight trains, we got sheds, that's it really. Oh, and then two DRS 57s. But it has been a good overnight at Carlisle these past two days. Okay, yes. The incident at Litchfield, I heard it was a 20 year old girl that was involved, that's all I can tell. Jumped off the um, bridge in the Litchfield area, which caused us to cancel and we had to go by uh, Birmingham and all that. And then we were half an hour late out of Birmingham, which didn't help us to one damn bit, but that's how it happened, unfortunately. Um, we got to Carlisle about an hour and a half late, roughly, but we still made it up with a load of other freight and all that. And then we came back, everything was fine on the way back and that was it really, but that's the first time I've ever done overnight, so that's the first time I've stayed up all night. And I don't think I'll be doing that again anytime soon, even though it was nice, I don't think I'll be doing that anytime again. I think that was just a one-off. But um, you can now it's time to end the show. If you can subscribe to us at Facebook at Simon Trades and Simon Paul's British Railway Journeys on Facebook. You can subscribe to us at Simon Trades on Twitter. If you um, try to link the video, I'll probably force you to do overnight with a shot. Gotta get your head. See how you like. See how you like it what I've experienced no, I'm just kidding on that but you look at videos I will be dealing with you personally and that is it like I said uh, at the beginning of this show this what this show is dedicated to Jack Ellis who passed away who was a fellow trades buyer may he rest, rest in peace and I hope you enjoyed the show and I don't know what I'm going to do on the next one but good night and hope to see you on the next one